I'm looking for me actually reading the books I put on these TBRs. <laughs> and welcome oh my god i'm not holding the board to tbr cleanup which way does it go no that way <laughs> tell you what they told okay me. i'm feeling weird right now i'm feeling like so weird so if you don't know tbr cluedo is a tbr game that i do every month that picks well it's supposed to pick what i read let's let's talk about that <laughs> So wow. previous months, right, last year in 2021, I was great. I was so good at always reading what TBR Cluedo picked, but in, in 2022, it just hasn't happened. It hasn't happened. Also, I'm wearing this sack dress that I've owned for many years and I'm not sure how it's gonna show up on camera. Anyway, I, from previous, previous months, I have not read Monday's Not Coming from January, The Woods Are Always Watching from February, and if I'm honest, pretty much all of March's TBR. <laughs> Just after I filmed TBR Crudo for March, a couple things happened that meant I had to really like move around the videos I had coming this month. And so it meant that I just didn't read what I had planning. But, 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 but. April. I'm gonna read more books than anyone else in the world. <laughs> I, I feel good, you know, I've spoken about January and February are pretty hard months for me personally. March has been a good month for me personally and I feel like I'm really starting to like get back to the level of everything that I want. And so April, I just feel like I'm gonna read like 200 books. No, <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna read a lot of books, or at least that's the hope. The goal by the end of April is to not only read the books on April's TBR, but to get caught up on all the other books as well, essentially. Yeah, we're here today to do April's TBR, which I just also can't believe it's April. Like, well, it's not yet, technically, but like, the year is flying by. The year is like, oh my god, let's like, let's be really quick. It's, I hate it, I hate it. <laughs> Should we speed it up a little bit? Yeah, let's just get into the rules for this month. If you don't know the rules, I will link the playlist down below where you can check out the first video that has all the rules that you need to know. But essentially, there's rooms that correlate to genres, there's prompts that correlate to the books I pick. Let's go. <laughs> okay, time for a roll one. Let's have a really good month. First, we have number six over here in yellow, which is good actually, because I will go straight into fantasy. Because <laughs> I'm definitely needing to read a lot of fantasy this month. Okay, let's see how many we roll. Four and a two. What can I get to in that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Which is number 24, which is a book over 400 pages. <laughs> I think I've had this once before and it was fantasy as well, but to be fair, if it's gonna be any genre, fantasy is the best because it always has really long <laughs> books. So, as I said, I need to read a lot of fantasy this month, like a fuck ton of fantasy. <laughs> And the prompt was a fantasy book over 400 pages, which is always pretty easy. I'd rather it be fantasy than like romance or contemporary, which is much harder to find. But I have picked The Dream Thieves by Maggie Stevewater. This is about 450 pages, which you don't think is gonna be that long, but it's actually quite long. I read The Raven Boys last year, I'm pretty sure, and I only gave it like a three star. I didn't love it, but it felt like a prequel to the rest of the series to me. So I'm hoping I'm gonna really, really love this. I know, I think this one focuses on Ronan more out of the group of the Raven Boys. The thing is with this series, there's so much that I could love. Like when you give me the buzzwords, I'm like, oh, oh. Oh, like I'm like, oh, I should love this. But then I just didn't love it. And I can see what was writing also, I feel like was a bit, you know, I had to get used to it. <laughs> I'm excited to make more progress in a series because I need to do that. We all know I need to do that. We all know that that, that is <laughs> that is on the list for this year. And I feel like I'm doing quite well so far. So anyway, I'm gonna oh I hate when I do that. <gasps> I feel like I'm a cat choking. <laughs> so uh so uh yeah, I feel like I need to read the rest of this series to fully appreciate it for what everyone else loves it for. Time for roll two. Number two, which is purple up here in the mystery. Let's see how many we roll. Whoa, a three and a three. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, which is number three, which is, oh my God. <laughs> Start a new series. <laughs> okay, so roll two was a mystery 
the start in a new series. Ah, let's try to sabotage me. I have done so well this year. I've only started one series. I literally just started it like yesterday, the day before. I've only started one series. We'll get into that. We'll talk about that this year so far. And I've finished, I think, about like six or seven, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how many I finished. But anyway, it's time to start a new series, apparently. <laughs> I will just say that um, I... I sabotage a lot of things. Oh. In it, yeah. Okay. And this month I picked this to be the one that my patrons voted on for our book club. So if you don't know, they vote on one of our picks every single month to be the pick for our book club. And the options I gave them this month were The Winds Are Not by S.J. Bennett, Aggie Morton, A Mystery Cream, The Body and the Piano by Marth Jocelyn, Six Stories by Matt Wesolowski. I was I'm worried I'm saying that wrong. And How We Fall Apart by Katie Zhao. And this one pretty much unanimously. Like everyone wanted to read this. So this is what I'm reading this month for our book club. I think this is following like Gossip Girl, Dark Academia, goes into class, goes into race. We're following like a group of friends. It's all like, oh, I'm very excited. I think one of the students in like the group of friends is murdered and then everyone else is trying to figure out who's the killer or whatever. And I'm very excited. This is like a release from last year that I've kept meaning to get to and just haven't. From what I've heard, this touches on a lot of different themes, so I feel like it's gonna be a really good pick for our like book club discussion. I feel like we're gonna have a lot to talk about. And yeah, I'm just really glad that I'm finally getting around to this one because whilst I'm also trying to read 2022 releases, which hasn't been going that well yet, I'm also trying to get through the backlog of 2021 releases that I still own. Time to read more. It is time to read more in April. It is time. Roll number three. Number six again, which is yellow again. Oh my God, we're so lucky. <laughs> I need to read a lot, a lot, a lot of fantasy this month. Okay. Oh, a one and a three. Okay, let's just go one, two, three, which is number two, which is a series I'm part way through. Oh my God. <laughs> Not TBR Quinn making me read series. <laughs> Next was another fantasy, and that is a series I am partway through, and for this I'm picking Summer Frost by Blake Crouch. So this is a series I started. I don't know if this is actually technically classed as a series, I think it's more a collection. This is a series of like really short um, ebooks on like Kindle Unlimited, written by famous like sci-fi and fantasy authors, and it's like a sci-fi collection. I'm currently reading Ark by Veronica Rock, which is the first, and I just want to read them all in order. They're each like 50 pages long, it won't take very long. So I think I am going to finish this series this year so I don't feel bad about starting it because it's not gonna take me long to finish. I don't know really what this one is about. The two that I really had on my radar before I decided to read the whole series were N.K. Jemisin's and Andy Weir's but I'm really enjoying Veronica Roth's one so far. It just seems like they're all kind of like apocalyptic, sci-fi. Um, I think this one is about a game, Summer Frost, which is intriguing but I'm kind of going to go into all of these ebooks blind because they're literally only 50 pages long so I don't really want to know too much about the plot. As long as I know the author I kind of know what to expect I feel like Blake Crouch's one is going to be very like advanced <laughs> clever I'm gonna cry don't cry because then you're gonna make oh me cry God. I'm looking forward to this. I'm, I've really enjoyed reading Veronica Roth's one so far. I'm at the moment trying to read for this weekend's vlog and it's not that I'm not feeling that book but I really just want to finish Ark but I'm like no I need to prioritise reading the other book I'm reading at the moment which has been hard but anyway I'm definitely going to read at least one more in this series this month. Roll number four is number eight which is blue over here. I would quite like to do the rose prompt this month so let's see if we can get to that. We have got a two. Oh my god, we've got a two. That's perfect. We'll just go one, two. So that is the rose prompt. Okay, roll four was the rose prompt. I try to do this like every other month because I really love doing it. Um, so if you don't know, when you join my Patreon, everyone gets to pick two books off of my either physical TBR or books um, I have audio access to, and they get to pick two of them, and it goes. We've upgraded, ladies and gentlemen. It used to be in this little pot, but it got too big. We are now in here. <laughs> So yeah, they get written on a piece of paper and go into here and then when I go on the rose prompt, I pick one out of here and I read it that month. So we're gonna be reading one and we'll find out who chose it. Okay, let's give a good shakeroo. I'm hoping for something that's pretty short because I have a video, a vlog coming out this month that I need to read like short books for. So that's what we're hoping for. I've got one. Okay, what have we got? The hell? What is pet? Okay. Oh, at least that's short. Okay, okay, okay. Is today a good day? Today's a great day. 
It's a blessed day. No. So we have Pet. I cannot remember the author's name. I'll put the cover in here. I think I might buy, maybe I'll buy the physical version. I have the audiobook of this, which is why it's on this list. But my patrons actually not that long ago were all talking about how much they loved this. So we're gonna read Pet this month. Let's see who picked this. Oh, Gavin picked it. <laughs> Gavin picked it. Is Gavin the only one? G okay, Gavin is one of my patrons and Gavin picked it. <laughs> oh god, of course. Okay, so thank you Gavin. Thanks to you I'm going to be reading Pet this month, which I'm very, very excited for. But it's also been like massively endorsed by a lot of my other patrons. We've been speaking on the Discord maybe like last month about how so many of them have loved it and loads of them picked it up because of that. And so I'm really excited because this does feel like a patron pick. Like I feel like I've been very excited to read this book because of them. So I'm going to go buy it. I'm going to go buy the physical version as well. <laughs> Roll number five. Number eight again. Okay, let's see what we get for this. Whoa. We'll go... Okay, we've got two fives. I think I fancy going to romance this month, actually. So, one, two... How can I do this? Three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, I'm knocking everything over today. That is, oh my god, that, that's number 11, which is an ebook or an audiobook. Roll five was a romance that is an ebook or an audiobook. And for this, I'm gonna read Under One Roof by Ali Hazelwood. So I am so excited about this. This isn't like Ali Hazelwood's big release that's coming out this year, but she's got like ebook and audio, is it ebooks as well or just audiobooks? I'm not sure, but definitely audiobooks um, coming out throughout the year, like little short ones. This audiobook is only like four hours long or something. I don't know the plot of this. I don't know. I'm just gonna read all of Ali Hazelwood's ones. They're like re-releases of fan fiction, I believe. All of the short books Ali Hazelwood has coming out. Is it like, were they roommates? And they were roommates. <laughs> oh my God, they were roommates. Yes, it's part of the series called The Steminist Novellas. Am I gonna count this as a series? I suppose I am. We're gonna count this as a series. This is starting another series. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> But again, a series that's very easy for me to finish. Yeah, it looks like roommate kind of situation. I'm excited. I'm really, really excited to read this. As many of you know, The Love Hypothesis, here she is. Um, it's probably one of my favourite romances I've ever read. I don't, yeah, it is the favourite romance I've ever read. I absolutely loved it. I feel like Ellie Hazelwood just knows what to do. She gets it. She gets it. She knows what to do. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to read this. Okay, last roll. Let's see what we get. We have number six again. <laughs> what the hell? You guys always think my dice are weighted. I don't think they are. Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's see what we roll. We got a six and a five. Let's go one, two, three, four. Uh, oh, five, six, which is number eight, which is a 2021 release. And then lastly, we got another fantasy, which is ideal for me. <laughs> so happy. That is a 2021 release. And for this, oh my God, I've still got the stick on it. Uh, let me just, let me try and take that off. Um, It's The Gilded Ones by Namina Fauna. <laughs> Let's try. Come on, sticker. Come on. We're going to peel you off. Nice and slowly. <gasps> Come on, come on. There we go, okay. Oh my God, that is, that is scary. It's very scary. That was fucking scary. My heart's going pitter patter, pitter patter. Yes, we're going to be reading The Gilded Ones this month. I'm really excited. I love my edition with the sprayed edges. I've been meaning to get to this again, another 2021 release that I've been meaning to get to. On the back it says, are we girls? Are we demons? Are we going to die? Or are we going to survive? I just know it's about like a protagonist trying to save the world and stuff, you know. You know how it is. Just got to save the world. I don't know too much about the plot. I know it's kind of like warriors saving the world, whatever. But I, I didn't need to know much for the plot. This was super hyped last year and I'm just really excited to get to it. I love the cover. Holy shit, this is another series. And so it begins. I believe she's somewhere living with deep, deep regret. And so it begins. I've held off until April starting new series. It's okay. It's okay. And the forward collection, I feel like I can finish within like two months. So it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh God. But yes, I'm reading this for a blog coming this month and I'm very excited to vlog it and see what I think. It's been so hyped and I haven't been reading a ton of new YA fantasy lately and I love YA fantasy so I feel like I really need to like get back into it. I need to just get back into reading but like this is it now. I'm reading again. 
You've, I promise. I mean, I haven't read, I don't know how many books I've read in March, but it hasn't been like none, but I just want to read like 20 books a month. That's like literally what we're aiming for. I'm not joking. <laughs> so there we have it. That is my TBR for April. And of course we've got all the books from previous months, which I haven't finished, but I'm going to read them all. I am going to read them all this month. No, no excuses. Let me know what you thought of any of the books on this TBR. I'd absolutely love to know what you thought of any of them. If you've gotten to the end, comment the magnifying glass emoji, of course. And thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Subscribe if you're new here. I upload Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. And I'll see you soon in another video. Bye!